Hello and welcome to the tutorial on addition. In this tutorial we will learn how to add three numbers and we're going to do this in the horizontal format. Now before we begin I just want to add that whether you are adding two numbers, three numbers, four numbers, the same principles apply. Let's look at our first example. We have 47 plus 64 plus 38. Okay, we've got a lot of numbers there. 47, 64, and 38. Okay, what we're going to do is the same as we did previously with the horizontal format. We're going to start with the tens. Okay, we'll start with the digit on the left. We've got three numbers there which have got tens. We've got four on the left here and six. Okay, what is, and we've also got the three as well. We'll come on to that in a moment. So four plus six equals ten. We've also got to add the three over here. So we've got ten plus three is thirteen. Don't forget these are tens. So we're going to write thirteen and then put a zero at the end because we've been adding tens. Okay, now on to the units. We've got seven, four, eight. Now I can see from this there's no real pattern in this seven, four, and eight, so we're just going to add them one by one. We've got seven and four. And what I mean by a pattern is if you've got numbers say six and four, as we did earlier, or five and five, you can work those out quickly. Okay, here we've got 7 plus 6. 7 plus 6 is 13. Now we have to add the 8. 13 plus 8 equals... Come on, you should know this. I've worked it out. You should know this. The answer is 21. And that's a unit, so we just write that in here. Let's just put the equal sign. And let's add the columns. We've got... 100, add the tens, 3 plus 2 is 5, and we've got 1 unit. So the answer is 151. Now that wasn't very difficult, was it? Okay, if you get 3 numbers, just add them one by one, the same principles. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that, well, 2 digits was fine. How about 3 digits? Okay, let's work this out. Got 127 plus 438 plus 652. Okay, so we've got three numbers there. All of them are three digits. Where do we begin? We begin with a digit on the left. We've got a hundred here. We've got another hundred here and another hundred here. Okay, so we're going to add one, four, and six. So what, you notice, what do you notice about these? Well, I've worked this out pretty quickly. 4 and 6, we know from our number bonds, equals 10. Okay, 4 and 6 is 10, and don't forget to add the 1. I'm just going to write it down here as well, so we know it. 10 plus 1 is 11. Okay, so we write down 11, and don't forget, these are hundreds, so we're going to put two zeros. 1100. We're going to move across to the tens. We've got two tens here, another three tens, and another five tens. Okay. Now, I'm doing all these workings out. However, in time, you'll be able to do these in your head. Let's start over here. I've worked out a pattern, so let's start over here. Two plus three is... Let's write it down. Two plus three equals five. And we also have to add the five over here. Now we know this, 5 plus 5 equals 10. Now this is something you should have spotted straight away. We've got two tens on the left, another 3 and 5. 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10. So we write that in, it's 10. Because we're adding tens, we've got to put a 0 at the end. Okay, write this down in nice neat columns. And lastly, we've got the units. We've got 7 units. 8 units, and 2 units. Now, what do you notice about those numbers? 
7, 8, and 2. Well, how about this? 8 and 2. Well, we know that 8 plus 2 equals 10. And then we can add the 7. So we're trying to make our life easier by spotting these patterns. 10 plus 7 is 17. So we can just write that in, 17. Let's put another equal sign here. And now we're going to add them. We'll start with the 1. That is the thousands. Now we do the hundreds. It's 1 plus 1 is 2. You can even put a comma, comma here. Then the tens, which is 1, and the units, which is 7. There you go. We've worked it out. 127 plus 438 plus 652 is 1,217. Now, all these arrows you're seeing and the different colors, in time, you'll be able to do all this, including all the workings out here, in your head. All this requires is practice. And that is addition of three numbers using the horizontal format.